I lived out of Seattle for uh, five and a half years, and before that I lived in New York for about nine months. And right now I'm in the Rocky Mountains, where I hope to live as long as I can until we have to go back to uh, the office. And even when we do, I might look for other opportunities here in the Rockies. There's something I like about the Rockies. When I was in Seattle, or even more so when I was in New York, uh, I have some uh, habits that are different from the mainstream. Um, I have dietary restrictions, and I think a lot of people actually do. The problem is that everybody has a different kind of restriction, and um, it, it tends not to form a coalition like how homosexuals or or other uh, issues would form a, a group like that, right? Because everybody has different uh, restrictions. Okay, and I tend to enjoy my personal life in different ways compared to other people, right? Recently I took up uh, bowling. Before that I used to love to go to a, a vantage point in central Washington to go stargazing and I prefer to do those things alone. Now the problem is that in Seattle there's not a whole lot of acceptance for that, which is kind of funny because Seattle was one of the first places that supported gay marriage. They don't support single marriage of as much uh, over there. I, 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 hopefully they will, but um, it hasn't come to pass yet. I think Montana supports it a whole lot better. See, when I if I go to the bowling alley alone in Seattle, number one, if I go at night, a lot of gay people are going to harass me. That's number one. Number two, the people who are not gay, they, they, they think there's something wrong with me and they want to match me up with somebody or they just think something's wrong with me, right? I'm having the best time of my life and somebody thinks something's wrong with me. When I was working on my PhD in Rochester, I ran into a similar problem. Toward the end of my time in Rochester, I loved going out alone to, to coin shows, to restaurants. Um, I would go to a restaurant on Valentine's Day or on Mother's Day alone. And I liked it, but a lot of people didn't accept that. And people just thought I was strange, like I didn't know culture or anything like that. I don't get that problem here in the Rocky area. And then um, there's the issue of uh, what I like to do when I go on vacation. Most of my coworkers, especially in the field that I work in, I don't know why, they love to go to really noisy places for a spring break vacation. I think some of my coworkers went to Las Vegas, New Orleans. Uh, I think many years ago I had a, a co-worker who went to uh, Times Square for New Year's Day. Th definitely not my form of a vacation, which is fine. I'm glad they're happy about that. I want them to feel happy about my vacation too and not laugh about it. That I like to go to Computer Olympiad conferences, that I like to go to backgammon tournaments. Um, I don't. I I I I prefer uh, we keep that separate from our working lives and not laugh about that, right? And that's uh, the kind of experience I have here in Montana. You know, in 2020, uh, we're all in this together, right? Uh, but at some at, at some point, when we make personal decisions that don't affect anybody else, right? Obviously, that uh, I'm not talking about going on vacation this year and and spreading your germs everywhere. But during the, uh, the during the more peaceful times, what we do on vacation, who we like to date, even if it's going out by ourselves, uh, let, let's let's try not to be in it together on that. Let's just be happy for each other instead. Thanks for watching.